www.figures.com for all your wireless needs. Go to www.figures.com. If you're a senior citizen, how does $15 a month sound for you? Now, you can get deals with no contract. Doesn't matter if you're GNX, GNZ, Millennial, whatever it is. No contract at all at figures.com. Go to www.figures.com for all your wireless needs. And at checkout, I have a discount code for you. It's credit score as one word. So go to figures.com. F-I-G-G-E-R-S and at checkout, put in credit score. Good afternoon, good afternoon and welcome to the 800 Credit Score Man Show. I am your host, Kevin King. He is I, and I am him, the 800 Credit Score Man himself. And once again, thank each and every one of you for coming in and listening to the 800 Credit Score Man show. I truly, truly appreciate it. So what's on tap today? What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about um, some debt today. We're going to talk about debt, specifically a collection type of debt thing, and this unscrupulous thing that goes on called debt parking yes we're going to talk about that today now don't tune away do not tune away because you think oh i don't have any collections i pay my bills on time all of these things debt parking impacts or could impact each and every one of us because it's an illegal act that is happening and going on and that's been going on for a long long time this is nothing new for the credit industry at all so we're going to dive into that today and i will post the article that I got it from um, on social media. So follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. So follow me. If you are on Facebook, you can go to 800 credit score, man. You can request to join uh, credit score, comeback the group on Facebook, as well as uh, on Twitter at credit score underscore man on Twitter. And then on Instagram, I am uh, 800 credit score, man on Instagram as well. So follow me somewhere social media wise. So you can get this now. If you are not one of those people that like social media, maybe you're not going to do this, then send me a text message and I'll send you the article if I can. So send me a text message. 312-600-5855. 312-600-5855 and request the article and I'll send it to you so you can read it for yourself um, today. So welcome in. Thank you so very much for coming in to the show. Now, you know, I got to give some shout outs, right? So I usually like to start with the youngest among us, right? I don't think I've ever had to do a shout out for a newborn. So truly a first. I want to shout out the youngest among us for real. Nova Rain Connolly, born on January the 28th. Doesn't get any newer than that. Congratulations to mom and dad. Welcome. Welcome to this world, uh, Nova Rain Connolly. Um, I got to give a shout out to Karen Owens. That's my cousin. She's going to celebrate her birthday coming up this week. So happy birthday to you, cuz. Gene Murray, one of my frat brothers, celebrates his birthday. And he also is on the same day as Jason Robinson, another one of my frat brothers. So happy birthday to you, brothers. Yo, to both of you. Rashonda Lyles celebrates her birthday. Longtime friend. Rashonda, happy, happy birthday to you with your short self. I got to give a shout out to Carmelia Pearson celebrating her birthday. Um, happy birthday to you. John Harrington, my man John Harrington celebrated his birthday. So happy birthday to you, John. Chris Means celebrates his birthday as well so happy birthday to you all if you have a birth announcement apparently if you've got a birthday if you've got an anniversary you want to shout that you got a new job your dream job contact me 312-600-5855 or send me an email 800 at creditscoreman.com and i'll give you a shout out on an 800 credit score man show All right, so let's dive into this whole debt parking thing that I was telling you about. So what is it? What actually is debt parking? First of all, it's illegal. It's absolutely illegal, and it's done by some companies, debt collection agencies, and what they do is they place these bogus collections on your credit reports. Yes, they are just putting them on your credit reports. You may have nothing to do with um, a particular company at all, and they're just placing them on your credit reports. Is highly, highly illegal. Oftentimes, these debts 
um, really have no basis in truth at all. You never had an account with the company that they're claiming it's from. And then they do some other sneaky things, if you will, um, to place it on your credit report. So we're going to discuss and dissect. And of course, I'm going to tell you what you need to do if this happens to you. And you'll see why it's important for you to check your credit report and know what's on it and know what's going on. So they do this and it's not a mistake. Yes, oftentimes there are mistakes that happen on credit reports coming from one company to another, data gets lost, payments get lost, all kinds of things. There are mistakes that happen. This is not that. This is intentional and it's done to get some money out of you. It's not done to hurt you because somebody at that company doesn't like you. They don't know you at all. This is intentionally done just to get money out of you. So it's not a mistake. Um, they didn't get um your social security wrong you know it's not one of those issues where it was just an error they didn't get your social security wrong or your birth date wrong and you know happened to fall on your credit report it's not that they forgot to put junior on it instead of senior they are doing this intentionally with the whole purpose of getting money out of you so they purposely put these things on your credit reports in hopes that you'll pay them because you're desperate and because you don't know any better at all. Well, unfortunately for them, we're calling them out today. And you listen to the 800 Credit Score Man show. You will not be taken. You will not be duped. You will not be bamboozled or led astray by these crooks. So make no mistake. Make no mistake about it all. It is highly, highly illegal. And you have some recourse. You can do something about it. The first thing is going to be knowledge, of course. So... In this particular company, don't worry, I'm going to call them out. I'm going to tell you their name, what it is. In this particular company, an internal audit, an internal one, like they looked at it themselves. Um, they looked at this audit, and one, and this is really probably the most egregious company that I've ever heard of um, doing something like this. They found that, so wait for it, 97%, 97% of their accounts were wrong. There was absolutely something wrong with 97% of the accounts that they had and they were trying to collect and get money from consumers, right? So don't worry. I'm going to tell you who this company is. Stay tuned for a couple of more seconds. Now, if you have a collection and you don't recognize it at all, I need you to file a dispute. File a dispute if you don't recognize it at all, especially if it's from this particular company. And I don't care if you think it's yours and it comes from this particular company, you need to file a dispute on that collection. I'm not slandering them. This is public information. The FTC has already looked into them. Lawsuits are pending. Some admissions have been made. Some people have been forced to um, uh, relieve themselves of the stake that they have in the company, all of those things. So, um, And this company is Midwest Recovery. Now, I haven't seen them too much recently on credit reports, but I used to see them all the time, all the time. Midwest Recovery was filled on people's credit reports all of the time. So Midwest Recovery, if you have a collection from Midwest Recovery on your credit report, you need to make sure you file a dispute on them. I'm going to tell you now, go check your credit report. Go check your credit report. I want you to do it today. Go check your credit report and make sure, um, one, you don't have any collections at all. And if you do have any collections and if you've been dealing with it and you've been trying to uh, fight collections and um, bring up your credit score, if one of them happens to be Midwest Recovery, then you need to make sure you take care of it. So now, now if you have a collection from them, um, you need to go and have it investigated. Just hands down, get it done. I suggest... You use the credit bureaus to help you to do this. So not only have they placed bogus claims on people's credit they that have no validity at all, um, they also inflate the amounts. So it's possible that you might have a collection um, and it could be a valid collection from a particular place, but it's the amount that Midwest Recovery is saying that you owe is well and above what you actually owe. So you need to do the investigation, like I was saying, and I would suggest that you use the credit bureaus to do this for you. Don't worry. We're going to get to the solution and how you need to do that um, 
in, in, in today's show for sure. So I'm going to give you an example of one of the complaint, complainants um, uh, regarding uh, Midwest Recovery. So here's, here's what happened with this particular person. Uh, Midwest Recovery had on their credit report that they owed $1,500 for a medical debt. All right? Listen to me. They owe $1,500 for a medical debt. Um, now, it is complicated when it comes to um, medical debt. You know, you got the insurance, you got the hospital, you got the physician. So oftentimes it's a little it's a little convoluted. Sometimes you're not sure exactly how much you owe. If you owe anything, you know, you miss paying your deductible or whatever. But they said they owed them $1,500 and it was a medical debt. However, so what the consumer did was, what the person it was on their credit report did, was that they contacted the hospital directly. So that's what you should be doing. If you got something, you not sure if it's yours or not, or you don't think that amount is right, or that amount is absolutely egregious in your uh, estimation, contact the original debtor. All right. So in this situation, they contacted the hospital. And what they learned was that they had basically missed the deductible. The deductible was nowhere near $1,500. How much do you guess? Just guess how much you think the deductible was for these people. Where Midwest Recovery was saying it was $1,500, the deductible and what they actually owed the hospital was $80. Yes, $80. So even if, even if in this scenario... You saw that on Miss Midwest Recovery. For whatever reason, you want to pay it off, and you want to pay it off right now. You want to get it done. And if you've been listening to the 800 Credit Scrum Man Show, typically what you would do and what I would advise is that you negotiate for a lower amount. You're going to settle it, and you're going to ask them to take it off your credit report, right? So you think you're winning if you get them down to 500 bucks and say, you say I owe you $1,500, I, I only have $500 for you. And they say, yeah, cool, we'll take the $500. Well, look what happened. You really only owed $80 on this particular collection. $80. And they got $500 out of you. They made a $420 profit off of you. And God forbid you paid them $1,500. Then they made a $1,420 profit off of you. Off of you. That's crazy. So... You, you got to make sure that you, you know, you watch out and you and you watch all of these things. So, yes, they only owe these people or for this particular collection, $80 for this collection. So what Midwest Recovery was counting on, though, was one, a lack of knowledge coupled with desperation. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're counting on. This particular consumer only learned of this collection when they went to apply for a mortgage Now had had. They not went and applied for a mortgage and they never checked the credit report, they would have never known about it at all. So they were counting on the panic that would set in. When you sit there, well, maybe you're not sitting in front of a mortgage lender because of COVID right now, but when you place those things, you had that phone call and they say, hey, you know, your credit score is down because you have this particular collection, they're counting on that panic to set in. You're trying to buy your home, right? And they want you to go ahead and pay them and pay them right away just to clear that debt so you can be approved for this home that you have. The home is more important to you, to most people, than a lousy 1500 bucks. And I say lousy because in comparison to buying your home, getting your dream home, moving your kids into a place where they can all have their own bedrooms, things of that nature, they're much bigger than the money of just $1,500. So that's what they're counting on and that you'll just go ahead and pay it or you'll settle or something. So in this particular situation, Midwest, so when they found this out and they paid the $80 directly to the hospital and cut out Midwest recovery, if this was a scenario that we talked about on the 800 Credit Score Man Show, what we would do then is we would say to Midwest recovery, I don't owe you I paid the debt and I paid it to the original person. So you need to remove it from my credit report. Midwest recovery decided, screw you, screw all that. We're not removing it from your credit report. Not at all. We're not even, we're not showing that it's going to be, that it's paid anything. We're not doing anything. That's what Midwest recovery did in this particular instance to these particular people. And they threatened to sue the consumer. You hear me? 
So the nerve, the nerve of them to uh, place that collection.